Hi, this is Elizabeth Cermak from Your Highest Light, here every, usually Fridays at 1111 to talk to you about attracting more beautiful things into your life, and also how to do and how to do and think differently in this world in order to get yourself to your highest light. Today I'm here on Saturday. For some reason, everything this week, the universe wanted me to do everything a day late this week, so we're here on Saturday. And this is not a permanent thing yet, but I'm almost thinking about making this on Saturdays from now on. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. So anyway, we are here today to talk about assertiveness. And I did an Instagram TV, IGTV video last week, a little bit about assertiveness, and I shared it on Facebook. And so today we're gonna to talk about three steps to assertiveness. And this is for you if you are somebody who might have a hard time standing up for yourself, who might tend to sweep things under the rug because you don't want to ruffle any feathers, but you realize that you, once you do that, once you sweep things under the rug, once you don't stand up for whatever it is that you believe in, what happens is you hold on to it and it, does, it never gets released, it never gets taken care of. So if you're somebody who wants to keep everybody happy all the time, this is for you. Or if you're somebody who is super aggressive instead of assertive, and I'm gonna talk about what the difference is, but if you feel like you do stand up for yourself but you do it in a way that's pretty, you feel bad about it afterwards because you don't feel like you did it quite in a way that was um, that was right, you know, you don't feel like you did it in a way where you felt like you were in control, this is for you as well. So hi, hi Edgar, so if you're joining, please go ahead and drop me an emoji. I learned this from a training this week that when the followers drop emojis or comments or hashtags or whatever it is, so you can do hashtag assertiveness, that um, helps with the algorithms and so more people can see it and so I can try to help more people with this. So if, you, if you're if you joining and you can't even send me a wave or an emoji, that would be awesome. That's a new thing I'm gonna be asking people to do. And today we're gonna be talking about three steps to assertiveness. This is actually a two-part training. I started doing it with assertiveness and energetic boundaries and I started writing about it and I was doing them together, but it was it became so long and so huge that I decided to, decided to do this one about assertiveness. So this is gonna be three simple steps to being assertive. And I had a friend who just actually used these steps yesterday, they worked perfect. So three simple steps to assertiveness. And then next week we're gonna talk about energetic boundaries and we're actually gonna do a meditation. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna give you guys an awesome tool to give everybody, if you're somebody who tends to carry the pain of the world around with them, um, or who tends to carry other people's pain, I'm gonna talk about why this is unhealthy and why this does not help you or that other person. It's something that I have done my whole life and I've learned um, recently how not to do it, or I would say in the past few years. So we're gonna do a little exercise that's gonna help give everybody back what their stuff is so you can deal with your stuff and everybody else can deal with their stuff. And we're gonna do that next week and it's gonna be all about energetic boundaries. The reason why assertiveness and energetic boundaries are so important is because if you want to be, if you want your life to thrive, if you want your relationships to thrive, if you want your career to thrive, you have got to learn this stuff. You have got to learn to be assertive and you've got to learn to have these energetic boundaries. Otherwise, if you are a light worker, and I probably anybody who watches this is a light worker, is somebody who helps other people in their career or in their personal life, the only way that you can truly help is if you are able to have these assertiveness skills and energetic boundaries. Otherwise, you, you know, I, I'm gonna talk about this in my blog that taking on everybody else's pain as my own almost absolutely killed me. So you can't help other people if you're, if you're taking on other pain. There's a way to be there for them and to help them without doing that. And I'm gonna talk about that. So if you're joining me, hi everybody. So good to see you guys. We're here on Saturday instead of Friday for Free Spirit Friday, Free Spirit Saturday, we're gonna call it. So go ahead and drop me an emoji, give me a wave or give me a heart or something like that so I know you're here. And we're talking today, we're talking about three steps to assertiveness. And so again, I'm and I'm, I've talked about how this is somebody who might have, somebody who has been nice their whole life. Maybe you think you're too nice. Everybody says, oh, you're, that you're so nice, you're so nice, and you're sick of hearing it. And you wanna be able to stand up for yourself in a better way. This is for you. Um, so the problem is you cannot just sweep negative feelings under the rug. It just doesn't work. And a lot of times when we consider ourselves light workers and we try to spread love and we, we're into the law of attraction, we think that if we, focus on the negative that more negative things will happen. But what happens is if we have negative feelings or if we're having a problem with somebody, if we sweep those feelings under the rug, they just get worse and more messy and they come out in other ways. So we have to release them and we have to 
tell people how we're feeling. You know, it's okay. It's okay not to, it's okay not to agree with somebody. We have to learn that. We have to learn that it's okay not to agree with somebody. It's, a, it's okay to have differences. So the, my number one tool, and so this is going to seem super counterintuitive, but you guys are going to love this. My number one tool, tool for assertiveness is love. So I always talk about this story. I had a, I was having a really hard problem with a student once and it was just a really, it was bad, you know, and we all have this in our lives where we're having problems with somebody and we can send love to everybody except for that one person. We're like, nope, not that one person. They don't deserve it. We all do this. Okay. And what I had to do with this student is I had to send her love, even though I didn't understand. And this is a really hard, this can be really hard for people because you're not sending someone love because they, because you like what they did or even because you like them or because you agree with them. You're sending them love to protect yourself. You're sending them love so then when you have that confrontation, when you tell them, you know, we need to talk, that you say what you need to say and you feel that you stayed in control. It helps your perspective to shift enough to where you can stand up for yourself and really stand up for yourself without feeling like you were a total jerk and leaving the situation. So you've got to send that person love. If you don't and you go and you end up, you know, if you end up, I'm sorry, I had to take this off. This says low battery. If you end up not sending love and you go and you're just out of control, you know, and you're aggressive instead of assertive, then you're not going to get what you want either. So this is about getting what you want out of this interaction. Aggressiveness is standing up for your rights but not respecting the rights of others. Assertiveness is standing up for your rights while respecting the rights of others. Passive, a passive person tends to just let things happen, tends to sweep things under the rug, okay? So that's so that's the difference. So you want, it, you want something in between that passive and aggressive. You wanna be assertive, stand up for your rights. And you know, I have to tell you guys, I'm sitting out here in my backyard today and it's so beautiful and like the, my surroundings are, amazing and I'm thinking to myself you know we're not meant to work eight hours a day under fluorescent lights with horrible surroundings I just it seems unnatural to me I guess that's why I've always had a problem with it so I mean if you're thinking of starting your own business and this is what I would love to help people do is I would love to have it my purpose I guess not to have to for people not to have to do that um, and if you're starting your own business, you know, you need this assertiveness. You need to be sure of yourself and you need to stand up for your own rights. Okay, so here's my three steps. I'm, I have a couple notes here just so I don't forget anything. Here's my three steps to assertiveness. Oh, and I'm loving IGTV, by the way. So this is going to be on IGTV later. And I have to make sure I have to end at by 10 minutes because I, I can only go up to 10 minutes on IGTV. So we'll end talking about assertiveness after 10 minutes. I'm going to pull some cards on after that. Okay, so step one, we've already talked about step one to assertiveness. Energetically, send that person love. You don't have to understand why. You don't have to understand anything about that person. You don't have to feel love towards that person. You don't have to feel like you like that person. Just send them love because you know it's going to protect yourself and because you just know it's going to work. You don't have to understand, okay? You, this is bigger than you. You don't get it. You don't get the whole thing. Just do it. Send them love. You know this is going to work. And the more negativity you feel towards that person, the more love you need to send. Hi, Edgar. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Juan. So good to see you guys. If, you, if you're on, drop me an emoji so I, so I get notified that you're here. Thank you so much. So we're talking about assertiveness skills. And step one is sending that person love. Before you have the confrontation, I mean, ideally you would be doing this every day when you wake up, when you meditate, is that you send everybody love that day that you're going to meet or people that you don't know you're going to meet. I keep getting the low battery thing coming on, so to turn it off. So ideally you've done it already, but you don't have to, when you're being assertive, you don't have to do it. You might not be able to do it in the moment. You might have to say, you know, I need some time to think about it. And then you go back to the interaction. That's fine. You can always do it later. You don't have to know exactly what to say in the moment. So you might need some space. You might need some time. Take some, take a day or whatever you need. Send that person love before the interaction. Step two, don't expect perfection. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Step one is send the person love, that's step three. Step two is visualize how you feel. How do you wanna feel when you leave the situation? So say you're gonna ask for a raise. How do you wanna feel when you leave that interaction? Do you want to feel like you've really made your case? Do you wanna feel like you chickened out and backed down? No, you wanna feel like you 
stood your ground, like you made your case, like you can be proud of how you act, how you acted. Like if you were if you were at a commercial or something, if everybody saw how you were acting, if, that you would be proud of the things you said, how you stood up for yourself, how you stayed calm, and how you acted. So visualize how you want to feel when you leave. And I just had a friend do this and it really works. I do it all the time, it works. Okay, and number three is don't expect perfection. So don't expect perfection from yourself. You're still learning. Nobody's perfectly assertive, okay? I mean, if you are, good for you, that's, an, that's awesome. But nobody that I know it has this down to a T. So it's okay, you know, it's messy. Don't expect perfection from yourself, but don't expect perfection from that other person. You're not really there to get that other person to do or say anything because we can't control what that other person does or say, says. The purpose of this is just to release the energy. So don't expect perfection. You're still learning. So the three steps to assertiveness. One, send that person love. And the more problems you're having with that person, the more love you need to send. Step two, do not, step two, I keep saying step three. Step one, send that person love. Step two, visualize how you want to feel when you leave the interaction. I'm looking at my notes and it's making it worse because I know this. Step four is do not expect perfection. Okay, so let's do this again. Step one, send that person love. Step two, visualize how you want to feel when you leave the interaction. And step three, do not expect step, do not expect perfection from either of you. So I would love it if 30 seconds, hurry, thank you, Jessica. Okay, 30 seconds until it's 10 minutes. I love you guys. I'm gonna say goodbye to the IGTV because that's just, this is how it's gonna end. Um, and I hope to see you, peace and love, very soon. Okay, so we're gonna still go on though. <laughs> but thank you so much, Jessica. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one more time though for the live people. Number one, energetically send that person love. So if you're in a situation, think about it. If you're having trouble with somebody, or if there's something that you need to do to stand up for yourself, First of all, energetically send that person, send the situation love. Two, visualize how you want to feel when you leave. How do you want to feel when you leave? Do you want to feel like you said your case? Do you want to feel proud? That's probably how you want to feel. So visualize feeling that way when you leave. And then number three, don't expect perfection. I'm going to write this down. I'm going to share this on Facebook and Instagram. So I hope this is helpful. Next week, we're going to do... It's going to be about energetic boundaries. And next week, it's going to go a little bit deeper. And I'm going to get a little bit more personal about things that I've really taken, pain that I've taken on of other people and how I've learned to give people back their own pain so that everybody can deal with it. I'm going to talk next week about how it's not healthy to carry the pain of the world around with you. And we're going to do actually like a meditation. We're going to, I'm going to give you guys an awesome tool in order to do that. Because the only way your life can flourish is if you do not carry other people's pain around with you. So the only way that you can truly help your loved ones is if you're giving them, is if they can handle their own pain and you're not taking it from them. So I know that sounds confusing, but I'm gonna get more into that next week. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be, it's a really, really powerful. I just did this with a client, a powerful, powerful tool on how to give everybody back their own pain. So I wanna, I want you guys to start thinking about that. So I am gonna pull a fairy card since we're outside in the garden with the fairies. So I'm gonna pull a fairy card from Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's fairy tarot deck. We'll see what they have to say. And then we're also gonna pull a card from Gabby Bernstein's, an oracle card from Gabby Bernstein, the universe has your back. You know what, let's do Gabby's first. I've got those ones nice and shuffled. The tarot, or the, ooh, the fairy card's nice and shuffled. Okay, so we'll do Gabby's first. So this is from Gabby Bernstein, the universe has your back. I kinda like this on Saturday. Let me, let me know you guys, if you guys like this better on Fridays or Saturday, what works for you. Um, also, let me know if you have a situation that you need to be assertive and if you tried these steps and if it works or if you have any questions about it, let me know. You can always send me a private message. You can always comment on here or you can comment on one of my posts and kind of let me know. I would love to know if these, I know that these steps work if you do them. So sending the person love, visualizing how you want to feel when you leave and not expecting perfection. I know those steps work if you do them. So I would love it if you guys are in a situation well, I don't love it that you're in a situation where you have to be assertive because it always is uncomfortable and that's okay. But I would love it if, these, if you'd let me know if these steps work for you. You know, when we're uncomfortable, we grow. So it's good. It's good when we're in a situation that makes us uncomfortable. Okay, so let's see. What does Gabby's cards have to say for us? When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Oh my gosh, how perfect is that? Because we're talking about sending people love when we have to be assertive. So when you're in alignment with what the love of the universe, your peace cannot be disruptive. This is exactly disrupted. This is exactly why you have to send love because it's for your own peace. It's not for theirs. 
okay? So when you're in alignment with lo the love of the universe, your peace cannot be disrupted. I love that card. Okay, so let's see what the fairy cards now have to say, because we'll see how they go together. Sometimes I think about it afterwards, and I'm like, oh, that's, I'll think about more afterwards about how they go together. Okay, we got the two of winter. Oh, this is really good for this too. So this says, indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's the best for you rather than trying to please others. That, um, this is also about feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. So this is talking about indecision and it's saying make the choice that is best for you, okay? So this is all about assertiveness. Make the choice that is best for you instead of listening to others. You know what? I feel like I, when I went into parts of my career that I went into, I feel like I listened to others more than I listened to myself. And the other people were trying to help. It wasn't that they were trying to tell me what to do. They were trying to help and they thought they knew what would make me happy. But the thing is, following what they said didn't help them or me because I wasn't happy. So this is about being assertive and really knowing what you want and following what you want instead of what everybody else wants. And this is about making a decision. So assertively getting out there, making a decision and making it happen. Um, the full moon or the full moon was this week and it was all about the masculine energy of being assertive and going out there and making it happen. So whatever your plans are, if you have a plan to start a business, if you have a plan to change a job or if you have a plan, um, whatever it is, just this is about being assertive and taking the bull by the horns and doing it. Okay. So I have a couple of people on. Hi, Cynthia. So good to see you guys. So we've got aligning with love of the universe and then making the decision. So first of all, align, and I, there's a reason why I wanted to pull this card first, right? So first of all, we want to align with the love of the universe and then we want to make that decision, be assertive and go forward. I hope this serves you guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It is super hot here. My husband and I went for a four mile walk this morning and it was, we were dying, it was so hot. So I hope everybody kind of stays cool. Um, we had a great time in Portland, Oregon. My, uh, my stepdaughter got married. It was beautiful. So you guys can see some pictures online that I shared and also my um, niece, we're having a graduation party for her tomorrow. So got some fun things going. I hope you guys do too. Let me know what you got going on too. And I hope, and please let me know if these three steps to assertiveness helped you. Remember, one, sending that person love. Two, of picturing how you want to feel, visualizing how you want to feel when you leave that situation. And three, don't expect perfection. Okay, I love you guys. Peace and love. I will see you next week. Right now it's going to be Friday at 11.11 unless we decide to change it to Saturday, but I'll keep you posted. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. Love you. Oh, you have to see Prudence because I always show Prudence, but she's on the floor today. Come here. I guess it's too hot for her even to get on my lap. And she feels a little bit wet. I don't know what she got into. Okay, so this is Prudence and I signing off. Peace and love. Bye.